Good morning. It is a little after five and God gently woke me up. When he does that, he he wakes me up always around five for some reason. And I think it's a beautiful time to spend with him. Most of you are asleep. He, um, he shares things with me that I need to know personally. And sometimes he tells me to share it because it's not just for me. And I trust that Whoever needs to hear this will hear it. And who doesn't, God bless you anyway. Um, it's important for me to do what I'm told because I have so much to be grateful for. The Lord does not fail. If he makes you a promise, he keeps it. And he's been providing for me for two and a half years. You know I haven't worked in two and a half years due to my horrible accident on that scooter and then right when i was really trying to force my way back into work before it was time then COVID hit so this time i've been spending with god has been vital and i don't take it lightly i'm not even using a filter right now i don't care what i look like but i do want to share the message that he want you to know he took me to Proverbs 24, verse 16, for a just man falleth seven times and riseth up again, but the wicked shall fall into mischief. Hopefully I can help somebody out there know that it, there is a way that you can connect to Jesus without feeling unworthy. A lot of people don't feel God anymore because they feel whatever they've done in their life is just way too big or too bad. And that's a lie. That's what the enemy wants you to believe. The Lord knows that there are no perfect people. Jesus was the only one that walked and didn't sin. Everybody you know has sinned. Once you allow yourself to be humbled enough to realize that all you have to do is say, I did thus and so, although I knew it was wrong when I did it, Lord, please forgive me. Do you know in that moment, that sin, that big thing that you're trying to hide is nailed to the cross anyway. When Jesus died on the cross, all of those things was on the cross. So you should have no more reasons to say God doesn't hear me. That's not true. He does hear you. You stopped hearing him. Forgive yourself. But before you can even do that, you have to ask God to forgive you. And once you truly in your heart understand that he forgives you for everything, then you start to feel him again. Don't block yourself from your anointment, from your blessing, from your promise, the promise that he gave you because you're too stubborn to go to him. He empowers you once you ask for forgiveness to feel his love again. He's never taken his love away from you. Don't let the enemy play mind tricks on you. You are worthy. You are worthy. You're covered with his blood if you allow it to cover you. That blood wipes away anything you think you've done that's too big for God. He's seen it all. He created you. He know you better than you know yourself. He knew you were going to sin on this day, that day, and that day. Ask for forgiveness and it's done. Please don't let it block you. We are in the last days. We don't know when the rapture is coming, but this is clearly the last days. We don't even know if a lot of people are going to wake up and say good morning and won't get the chance to say good night. You don't know when your time is. I don't know when mine is. Let's just try to do it right. Seek God. He has everything you need. Jesus literally forgives you. All you have to do is say it. Why do we make it so hard? God bless you. I love you. I'm not perfect, and my life is surely not easy. <laughs> Did you think that? Anyway, I'm going to keep reading and seeing if there's anything else he want to tell me. I love you. Good night or good morning. God bless you.